Hi there and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make groups out of your tracks. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to make groups for my drums, which the groups are over here. If I push all, that's going to select all these tracks and that's a group. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a drum group. So here's my kick in all the way to my room ride and I'm going to go Command G and I'm going to call it drums not in all caps. I'm going to call it drums. And then from there, I'm going to unselect that. So if I if I have my drum group selected, I can turn them all up or down. And so that's pretty useful, but I'm going to turn that off for now. And then also, that's important if you needed to edit all the drums, that would be the way to create a group so you can edit all of these tracks like I just did right there. That's a whole other video, but anyways, we're going to now create a kick group. Uh, I have three kick mics, so I'm going to call it kick. Then I got a snare top and bottom. I'm going to go command G, and I'm going to call it snare. And then I'm going to do my toms as well. This is just command G. I'm selecting these tracks. So there's your toms. You just hold shift, and then command G and toms. And then I'm going to do my overheads next. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to go command G and call it overheads. And now I'm just going to take my room mics here. I'm going to select them, Command G, room mics. Or is it, yeah, something like that. And I'm even going to make a group for my bass, even though it's just one track, but uh, I'm going to be duplicating it. So I'm going to call it bass. That's Command G and then bass. And my guitars, they're going to be Command G and then EGTs. This is one vocal take right here. I'm going to call that uh, just my vocals. So I'm going to go Command G after highlighting the tracks, vocals. And so now I have tracks for all that. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the tracks and just go call it tracks. That way, if I needed to, I could just turn all of them up or down at once. Like once I have a balance, if I like it, I don't know. I just like to have that freedom uh, as opposed to clicking all and then it's affecting my master bus and all that stuff. So. So that's how you create groups in Pro Tools, uh, and then you can just click them on or off over here. If you hold Option click, it'll take them all off, and then you can kind of just select whatever it is you need. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any value out of this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.